All right, Matt, see in just a bit, thanks. A multi-million dollar fitness and aquatic center could be coming to Elkhart. This comes months after the former YMCA closed its doors because of maintenance issues. Uh, so far, donors have already committed about 30 to 35 million of the 40 million dollars needed. But as WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer reports, the goal is to give families a place to come together. It's a place that brings back memories for the O'Briens. And it's been here forever. And uh, we had sent our kids here. Uh, our daughter went to preschool here. We worked out here. But the former YMCA could soon look very different. Make this better, the best natatorium in the country. Peter McCown is the president of the Community Foundation in Elkhart. The glue pulling this project together. And it's one of those things that um, will distinguish Elkhart County in its own way. This building, a staple in downtown Elkhart, could soon look like this. A state-of-the-art $40 million facility. On one side, a complex with an Olympic-sized pool and several therapy pools. On the other side, a fitness center. And in the middle, a community space. The goal, to serve the community and bring more people to Elkhart. It'll be a tourism draw. We know for sure that this will draw tens of thousands of visitors to this community. They hope through swimming competitions, but this is also for the students. The Community Foundation has been working with Elkhart Community Schools, who hopes to use the pools for the swim teams. But to do it, they would have to knock the whole thing down and rebuild. McCown says the city has expressed interest in site development. I think it brings about a healthier community. Uh, there's a downtown density, there's a downtown activity level. Uh, that occurs and frankly the the health and wellness element to it uh, is important to us as well. And the O'Briens just hope it fills a hole in the community. This is the heart of the community right downtown here and I think that we would definitely welcome it and I think a lot of people would. Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News. Now, donors still need to raise the $40 million. It's very preliminary, but the city says they could contribute about $1 million to this deal. Last night, the Elkhart School Superintendent got the okay from the board to begin looking into this matter, and construction well, could start in May.